I present petitions in accordance with Standing Order 207, the clerk. Well, how about that? There are no petitions. <laughs> The member for Moncrief. Mr Speaker, I seek leave to move for suspension of standing orders. Is leave granted? No. Leave is not granted. Then, under standing order for 47, Mr Speaker, I move that so much of standing and sessional orders be suspended as would prevent me from moving the following motion. At 12 p.m. each and every Friday that this House sits, the Speaker shall interrupt the business before the House and call on questions without notice for a period of one hour and 30 minutes. Mr Speaker, this is an important suspension Order, of standing orders. I move that the member no longer be heard. Order. The question is... Order. The member for Moncrief will resume his seat. The question is that the member be no longer heard. All those of that opinion say aye. The contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. Division required. In accordance with Standing Order 133, the division is deferred until the commencement of the next sitting. Is the motion seconded? Is if the Leader of the Nationals wants to observe what is going to happen, he won't behave like that. The member for North Sydney. Mr Speaker, I refer you in the first place to section 125 of the standing orders that says if the Speaker's opinion is challenged by more than one member, the question must be decided by division of the House and then followed on by section 133b, a division called for on a Friday shall be deferred until the commencement of the next sitting unless otherwise ordered. Now, Mr Speaker, this is a very important issue. It goes to the heart of a parliamentary democracy, and it is about the right of this side of the House to ask questions of ministers and the Prime Minister when the House sits. And Mr Speaker, order the honourable member for North Sydney resume his seat. The chief government whip is not helping. The the point of order is about the deferral of the division. The division is about whether the member can continue his remarks. It's not an invitation in the point of order to then go and debate the substance of the motion that no, 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 for the suspension of standing orders. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, there is a specific no, 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 no. You haven't got the, the call yet. The member for North Sydney. Mr. Speaker, there is a specific provision in section 133B that if, in your opinion, a division can be held, then it can be held. It says, unless otherwise ordered. That means that you, as a speaker, have the capacity to order division, notwithstanding the other provisions in section 133. And I ask you to consider the fact that we are ready to do business here. For, we member, want a division. The member for North Sydney resume his seat. I have ordered as I've ordered. That is my ruling. The member for Cowper. I second, I second the motion to reserve my right to speak. The question, the question is that the motion for suspension of standing orders be agreed to. All those of that. Mr. Speaker, the member for Patterson. Mr. Speaker, the previous motion for the member to no longer be heard is not resolved. It's not resolved because there has been no vote taken and counted. So, therefore, Mr. Speaker. The member for Moncrief has the right to continue his speech. Order. I have called. I have called for the seconder. The member for Cowper. I second the motion, Mr. Speaker. It's vitally important that we have question time yeah, yeah, at any stage yeah, yeah. during the parliament. The member will resume his seat. The Speaker. parliamentary secretary. Mr. Speaker, I move that the member no longer be heard. Order. The question is that the member be no longer heard. All those of that opinion say aye. The contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. Division required. In accordance with Standing Order 133, the division is deferred until the commencement of the next sitting. The, the, the member for North Sydney with a point of order. Mr Speaker, I move to send in your ruling. Mr Speaker, Mr. Speaker uh, under the provisions of section 133B of the Standing Orders, it is clear that you have the capacity to order the division of this House, Mr Speaker. This place is turning into a farce because, specifically, 
The government has failed to make the Prime Minister and Ministers accountable to this House and accountable to the Australian people for their actions. This is not the way we want to behave in the parliament. But if you are going to close down the parliament, if the Labor Party is going to try close down accountability, if they're going to close down transparency, then we make no apology, Mr. Speaker, no apology at all for calling for question time to come on. And Mr. Speaker, it is very important that the member for Moncrief well, had a voice for, in this house for his member, constituents. The member for North Sydney will resume his seat. The Leader of the House. I move that the Speaker be no longer heard. Order. The question is that the member be no longer heard. All of those of that opinion say aye. The contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. Second, is the motion of division required? In accordance with Standing Order 133, the division is deferred until the commencement of the next sitting. The Leader of the Nationals. Mr Speaker, be because there has been no completed division, the, the, the issue is not resolved, and therefore the member has a right to continue speaking. The issue is simply not resolved, and you can't move on to the next item until the, this matter is resolved. The, the member has a right to exercise his entire speaking time because the House has not the, voted that his time is member, completed. The member, the Leader of the National Party will resume his seat. Basically, this is what the motion is about before the chair. It's what the reason that the dissent is being attempted to be moved. Is the is I have told the leader of the National Party that if he wants to remain around to witness proceedings, that he shouldn't be interjecting. Is the motion seconded? The deputy leader of the opposition. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This is an embarrassing farce on the part the of the Leader government. The opposition will resume his, her seat. The deputy leader will resume her seat. The leader of the house. I move the member be no longer heard. Order. The question is that the member be no longer heard. The eyes will pass to the right of the chair. The nose to the left. Oh, sorry. The Members will resume their seats as is required by the standing orders. The member for Flinders will resume his seat. The member for Lyons isn't assisting. The question is that the member be no longer heard. All those of that opinion will say aye. aye. If the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. Aye. Division required. Yes. In accordance with Standing Order 133, the division is deferred until the commencement of the next sitting. The question now is that the motion moved by the member for North Sydney be agreed to. All those of that opinion say aye. aye. The contrary, no. no. I think the ayes, the noes have it. Aye. Ayes have it. Division required. In accordance with Standing Order 133, the division is deferred until the commencement of the next sitting. The member for Moncrief. The Speaker, further to the motion that I moved earlier, this is an absolute disgrace. Order. The member for Moncrief will resume his seat. The clerk. Private members' business. Notice number one: organ donation. The member for Moncrief on a point of order. Mr. Speaker, I have a right as a member of this parliament to continue moving the motion. Yeah. I've moved the order. motion, and this the was member not for Moncrief for his seat. The member for Moncrief will resume his seat. The member for Moncrief will resume his seat. The member for Moncrief will resume his seat.
The member for Moncrief will resume his seat. The member for Moncrief will leave the chamber under Standing Order 94A for one hour. The member will leave the chamber for one hour under Standing Order 94A because of the gross disorderly conduct of the member. I ask the sergeant to remove the member. I ask the sergeant to remove the member. The member for North Sydney. Mr Speaker, it has always been the case, in accordance with the standing orders, if the member was going to be removed from the chamber, the member, member had North to be Sydney. named. Member for North Sydney. He had to be named. The member for North Sydney to resume his seat. The clerk. Private member's business. The clerk. Has... The, clerk. the member for Lyons. The member for Warringah. Standing orders. Under the standing orders, the member for North Sydney was raising a point of order. You are obliged, under the standing orders, to hear him out, and it was Mem quite improper for you. Warringah quite improper seat. for you. The member for Warringah will resume your seat. The member for Warringah will resume your seat. Speaker, you are acting dishonourably. The member for Warringah will remove himself from the chamber under 94A for one hour. The clerk. Private members' business. Notice number one: organ donation. The member for Macmillan on a point of order. Mr. Speaker, having regard to this of this Mike's occasion on. and what might order happen, yeah. I member ask, for Macmillan has I the ask, call. I, right, I, sorry. I ask the no, clerk. No, no, no. The member for Whether Macmillan should have his microphone on. Member for I ask the clerk, prior to this day, prior to this day, whether the sergeant, whether the sergeant would remove. Oh, the member for Macmillan doesn't have the call. The actually, no. The member for Macmillan was resuming his seat. Now, yeah, I appreciate I did, and uh, it was an error because he's not in his place. Now, if I'm, if I'm being asked to act honourably. I will try to uphold the standing orders. And I apologise to the, those with the microphone switch. The member for Macmillan. Speaker, because of this, I, I uh, thought that this occasion may come to what has happened today. I asked the clerk whether the sergeant would remove anybody from this house, and the answer I got was a very unlikely no, they would not. I think the me member for Moncrief has been thrown out improperly. It's I asked the member for Macmillan, is that a reflection on the chair or not? I have never reflected on the chair. Well, it was, the honourable it member was will resume his seat. The member, for, the member for North Sydney. Can you advise me, Mr Speaker, under what standing order the clerk, the sergeant arms, removed the member for Moncrief? The authority of the Speaker and on precedent. Go back and read, 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 read practice. The honourable member for North Sydney will resume his seat. The member for Fremantle. Mr. The Speaker, member for Fremantle has the call. I move the motion relating to organ donation in the terms in which it appears in the notice paper. What a on member this for first historic opportunity on a Friday for members to bring forward and discuss matters of significance within their electorates and within the Australian community. The member for Fremantle will resume her seat. The member for Boothby with a point of order. Mr Speaker, I draw your attention to page 524 of the House of Representatives practice, in which it said, if the Speaker determines there is an urgent need to protect the dignity of the House, he or she can, can order a grossly disorderly member to leave the chamber immediately. When the member has left, the, spe when the, member has left, the Speaker must immediately name the member and put the question for suspension without a motion being necessary. Mr Speaker, 
I draw your attention to House, House of Reps practice. The member for Fremantle. I'd like to begin by noting that this is Organ Donor Awareness Week and by acknowledging the many Australians who have made the generous and selfless act of registering as an organ donor. They are making a personal contribution to the collective good health of their fellow Australians. Mr. Speaker, I draw, I draw your attention. Mr. Speaker, I draw your attention to page 524 of the House of Rep Representative Practice, right, the, where it the member, says the member it, for Boothby will resume his seat. The member for Boothby, the, uh, the member for Booth, the member for Boothby will resume his seat. The member for Boothby should resume his seat. I name the honourable member for Moncrief. The leader of the house. Thank you. I move that the member be suspended from the House. Order. The question is that the member be suspended from the services of the House. All those of that opinion say aye. aye. The contrary, no. Aye. I think the ayes have it. Aye. Division required? Yes. In accordance with Standing Order 133, the division is deferred until the commencement of the next sitting. Mr. 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 Speaker, on a, on, a, on, a, on a point of order. Excuse, order, order, order. 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 The member for Boothby does not have the call yet. I, I might, you, you might now repeat it again. The member for Boothby. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, House of Representatives Practice, page 524. If the, the, the question has not been resolved, if the question is resolved in the negative, the member may return to the chamber. And I ask you, Mr. Speaker, to use your discretion to put the motion. In accordance with. Or standing order 133, I have deferred the division. The member for Pierce. Mr. Speaker, if the order, the chair will be resumed in 15 minutes.
order. Before proceeding, I simply call upon the, the House uh, to reflect on its ability to conduct itself in a dignified manner. I appreciate that as a consequence of the standing orders that were agreed to last week, that there are people in the House that feel aggrieved and that as a demonstration of their frustration, uh, the events of the, this morning have transpired. I would just ask the House to consider that there are motions that have been put forward by both sides of the House to be discussed, and I call upon the House to allow that, those proceedings to continue. In that case, I would then call the member for Fremantle. The reality is, however, that in 2007 across Australia, fewer than 700 organs were donated from only 100. Preferably on the northwest well, the coast. The member for Braddon, we resume your seat. The member for Herbert. Do you have a point of order? Yeah, uh, no. Uh, I do, uh, draw your attention to the state of the house, please. Uh, uh, the, uh, you require a quorum. Uh, the, the member for Herbert, the member for Braddon, the member for Braddon, and the member for Herbert. In accordance with Standing Order 55C, the House will be counted at the conclusion of the grievance debate, if that time the member so desires. I call the member for Braddon in continuation. Thanks, Mr. Deputy Speaker, and I want to use. I call the clerk. Government business. Order of the day number one: grievance debate. Does anyone have a grievance? I do, Deputy Speaker. The member for Cowper. I'm here putting the case forward for my electorate. The Prime Minister's not here. Where the Prime he? Minister Where is isn't he? here. Where is he? We want the Prime Minister here. Oh. Oh. Order. Oh, come in. Order! I want Order. Kevin the Rudd member, here. The member for Cowper will jobs. resume his seat. The member for Cowper will 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 remove himself from the House under Standing Order 94A for ignoring my call. And, and I call the, the Leader of the House. Thanks. Thanks, Madam Deputy Speaker. As the Leader of the Opposition, as the Leader of the Opposition knows, the Prime Minister is today visiting Indigenous communities in Walgett and then visiting flood victims in Mackay. In Mackay. That is what the Prime Minister is doing today. And this extraordinary breach of the protocols of this House that the member here is continuing on Ask that you take action on this disorderly conduct. The Leader of the House, the Member for Warringah. Well, I presume, Mr. S Madam Speaker, you're about to sit him down no, because I'm that was not, that was not a point of order. No, I'm about to ask the Member for to remove himself no, and that no, from I'm the sorry. House. Madam I am a, no, I've asked the Member. I've asked the member for Canning to remove that from the House. I, no, no. You know, so do I. I'm in the chair, and you will hear me. And you haven't heard me. I'm actually in the chair, and I will be heard. Under previous, under previous rulings, such articles have been asked to remove from the House. I'm asking the member for Canning to remove that from the House. Where are you? 
I haven't made for the member for North Sydney. I haven't made a ruling. I've asked. I've asked for the uh, offensive article for the article to be removed. For the article. For the article. But well, that is offensive. That is for the article to be removed from the house. Sit down. Sit down. The leader of the house. The leader of the house will resume his seat. And I, I'm on my feet. I'm on my feet. You're not helping the member for Werriwa. I am on my feet. I have asked for that to be removed, and it will be done so. The member for North Sydney. Madam Deputy Speaker, yesterday the Speaker of this Parliament said, and I quote, the use of props is not encouraged, but it is tolerated. And we have had all week the Deputy Prime Minister coming into this place with props. The member for North Sydney. If your own Prime Minister. The member for North Sydney. The Leader of the House. The member for Paterson. The Leader of the House. Perhaps, Madam Deputy Speaker, given that the Leader of the Opposition gave a commitment, a commitment on behalf of the Opposition just an hour ago that we would have private members proceeding, we can proceed with it now and stop the nonsense. Leader of the House. Order! The Member for North Sydney. Madam Deputy Speaker, to provide absolute clarification to the House. We have had the Deputy Prime Minister introduce props to the House during the course of debates. And yesterday, and yesterday, I have a right to be heard. Yesterday, Madam Deputy Speaker, What's the point of order? yesterday, in a debate before this Order. chamber, Order. The, the Leader Order. of the House. The Member for North Sydney will resume his seat. The Leader, leader of the House. Well, what is this? On what, what basis, on what basis does the member for North the Sydney of the House will be heard in silence? On what basis does the member for North Sydney have the call? The member for North Sydney on a point of order. Madam Deputy Speaker, the point, point of order, the point of order is? is to remind the chair of the chair's words yesterday. If the chair's words yesterday, the, the use Sydney, of props is not encouraged, but it is tolerant. The simple point is, his seat. The, the member for North Sydney will resume his seat. The member for Calpa. We have questions. Thank you, Deputy Cameron. Speaker, because my people have the right to expect their government is here to hear their concern. To the expect member their for Calpa will resume his seat. He's on grievance. I've called him on on grievance. And I, sorry, and I will. I have actually asked the member for Calper to remove himself from the chamber, as he did ignore my rulings before. I did, and I let it go on. But I actually did ask the member for Calper under 94A. The members will resume their seat. I had called him and I was going to remind him. I had let it go on, but I actually asked him to remove himself from the chamber because, because he had been ignoring the chair. On what basis? On the basis that I'm in the chair and at the time you're ignoring the chair. I asked you to remove yourself under 94A. I Please remove yourself from. I'm well, I, and I let it go on. And now I'm asking you and your feet to remove. No, you do not have the call. You remove yourself under 94A. The member. Go, go. Leader of the House. Mr. The Speaker. member is named. The member is named. I move. I move that the member be suspended. From the House. Division. The, the question is that the motion be agreed to. All those opinions say aye. aye. Against. No. Is division required? Yes. In accordance with Standing Order 113, the division is referred until the commencement of the next sitting. The member will remove himself from the chamber. 94A. 
You do not have the call. The member, I am you are. You are, but you're not entitled to yell at me until I give you the call. The member for Aringa. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Madam Deputy Speaker, there has been no so, resolution just, of the can House. I just ask you to sit down. The member for Gilmore will remove herself from the chamber. On the basis that I found that offensive and a reflection on the chair. The member for Warringa. Uh, no, come on. There, there has, no, my, please, please resume your seat. I will call the member for Ringa when the member for Gilmore. The member for Gilmore has been in this place long enough to know that she has been reflecting on the chair. The member for Leader of the House. Madam Deputy Speaker, um, since uh, since Federation, Mr. Speaker, this par Madam Deputy Speaker, this this Parliament functions on the basis of respect for whoever is in the chair. Respect for whoever is in the chair. And Madam Deputy Speaker, I'm familiar. I am very familiar with Standing Order 94A. Very familiar, Madam Deputy Speaker because over the last term, on more than 190 occasions, members of the then opposition were asked the to leave the chamber. Not once, not once, the Leader of the House. not once was that questioned. Not once, Madam Deputy Speaker. And I asked the Leader of the Opposition, the I asked of the, House. the Leadership Leader of the, the Opposition of the to show leadership. Seat. The Leader of the House will resume his seat. Uh, the Leader of the House will resume his seat. The member for Warringah. Well, Ma Madam, Madam Deputy Speaker, if we can return to the matter that you were previously dealing with and where you indicated that you would give me the call, the, the point I was raising, the point of order I was raising, is that no resolution of the House has been carried. No resolution of the House has been carried, no, 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 no. and on that You're, ground, on. you cannot ask the, the member for Cowper to remove the himself. The member for Aringa will resume his seat. As was discussed earlier today, you may not be happy with the new standing orders, but they were put in place at the last, at the, the prior to coming into the House today. I am operating under the standing orders as they apply today. The member for Brisbane. On the point of order that was raised by the member for Warringah, he was, I assume, referring to the naming and the suspension that would follow for 24 hours. Prior to that uh, event, uh, you had quite properly, in accordance with Standing Order 94A, requested the member for Cowper to leave the chamber. 94A in part reads, the direction shall not be open to debate or dissent and if the member does not leave the chamber immediately, the speaker can name the member under the following procedure. The following procedure, the following procedure was the subject of the division. The prior requirement under 94A for the member for Cowper to remove himself for one hour is not open to debate, and everyone in this chamber knows that, and it has been, and it has been obeyed without exception, without exception by anybody, from the time it was inserted under Speaker Martin. And I would therefore suggest that the member for Cowper should remove himself for the hour, as has been the practice ever since that standing order was put in place, without exception. The member, the member for North Sydney. Madam, Madam Deputy Speaker, the member was named. You asked for a vote. The vote on the voices was challenged. A division was called for. No division was held. Therefore, no decision of this chamber has been made, and, Madam Deputy Speaker, the member has a right to be heard. The the, if the North government Sydney, doesn't have the numbers the on the floor of the North chamber, Sydney it should give it to someone else. Seat. The member for Cowper will remove himself from the chamber. The member for Cowper's refusal to leave the chamber places the chair in an untenable position. The sitting is suspended until the ringing of the bells.
Could all members resume their seats? Order. Today's events have been of considerable concern to me. I repeat my earlier statement, but I understand that some members have concerns about the arrangements for Friday sittings. I wish to express my full confidence of the work of all occupants of the chair today in what have been difficult circumstances. If our House is to expect the community to have confidence in it, all members should conduct themselves with decorum and dignity, regardless of their views about particular matters, including the conduct of business on future Fridays. The question is that grievances be noted on the basis that time has expired. All those of that opinion say aye. Contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. Earlier today, the member for Herbert drew the attention of the Speaker to the state of the House. In accordance with Standing Order 55C, I will count the House if the member so desires. desires. I indicate the member for Herbert to indicate whether he requires a count of the House to be taken. The member for Herbert. Uh, Mr Speaker, my request was before lunch and I require this parliament to operate properly. I require, I just, I I require a count of the House. Yes. Quorum present. Order. The House will now adjourn until 2 p.m. on Tuesday, the 11th of March. <laughs>